Hello teacups, so welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be giving you a tour of my bookshelves. I am so excited to show you guys this. I recently brought my bookshelves up to my bedroom and I redecorated the whole thing and I think it looks pretty good. So I'm not gonna go through every single book on my shelves because I feel like we'd be here for a while, but I am going to focus on my favorite books, some books I want to read this year, some books I recently purchased, and some of my favorite Funko Pops. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tour. purchases. The Minimalist Home by Joshua Becker. This is a room by room guide to a decluttered, refocused life. Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And my current read, The Sun is Also a Star. This is an exclusive edition. It is a signed copy and the edges of the pages are purple, which is really fun. And moving on to Fangirl. This was one of my favorite reads from last year. Moving down the line to the case for Jamie. This is the third book in the Charlotte Holmes series. I've talked about this series quite a bit on my channel. And on this shelf, I have Eat Smart by Naomi Smart. I love her YouTube channel. She lives a very healthy lifestyle. Her cookbook is absolutely beautiful and all of her recipes are plant-based. I have The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I have this beautiful edition of The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. I have have my Bible here. I actually have a personalized bookmark inside of my Bible. This was actually made by my friend Taylor. I'll have her channel linked down below. So it just says Abigail's cup of tea. Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. Stop believing the lies about who you are so you can become who you were meant to be. This book was so good <laughs> that I read it twice last year. Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets in Spanish. One of my New Year's resolutions is to learn Spanish, so I'm really hoping that someday I will be able to read this. I have three little Funko Pops here. We have Jughead, Betty Cooper, and Veronica Lodge. I'm gonna move Jughead for a second here. This book is called How to Be Yourself by Ellen Hendrickson. It's for the millions of Americans who consider themselves quiet, shy, or introverted. Listen to Your Heart by Casey West. I think this is gonna be a really cute YA contemporary. I'm actually saving this one for summer. Paper Towns by John Green. I got this one signed by John Green in 2010 when I first met him. One of the best moments of my life. I have the newest edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, as well as the newest edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I found it at Half Price Books and I was so excited because this is my favorite book in the series and this cover is so beautiful. It also has the phoenix on the spine and it has a big black and white photo of JK Rowling herself. On this shelf, I have my daily devotional. This is called Embrace. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Crimes of Grindelwald. We've got some Cassandra Clare, Veronica Roth, and some more Harry Potter editions. I love these shelves right here. So these are more my decorative shelves, and right here I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the illustrated edition. I have my Honey Dukes mug from Universal Studios, my little Ikea plant, and my little pink pot. I have this little letter board from Kirkland's. It says Abigail's cup of tea. And then I decided to add my little Hufflepuff head girl badge. Then I have the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. On this shelf, you can obviously see that I have a lot of Weasley Funko Pops. So I have Ron, Fred and George, Ginny, Quidditch Ron, and then I also have two Hermione's. This first year Hermione with the sorting hat is one of my absolute favorites. So I'm gonna move Ron over here for a second. So one of my most recent reads was A Beautiful Mind, A Beautiful Life. As you can see, I did a lot of page tabs. If you wanna see a video on how I tab my books, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. But this was one of those really good inspirational reads. If you're looking for a quick inspirational read, I would recommend 
Very Good Lives by JK Rowling, The Fringe Benefits of Failure, and The Importance of Imagination. Even though this book is very small, it's still very impactful. I have my older edition of The Tales of Beetle the Bard, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series. I've only read the first book, so it's a goal of mine to read the rest of the series. On this shelf, I have the two series that were not separated when I organized it by color. So I have my Harry Potter series here and my Twilight series. So I really love these editions of Harry Potter. I really love how colorful the covers are. So I'm gonna show you each and every one really quick. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. My favorite, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. This little Funko Pop of Luna wearing the lion head is one of my favorites. I also really love this little Harry holding the mandrake and wearing his little earmuffs. I have Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan. I still haven't read this book. I've been meaning to for a couple of months now, so I'm going to make it a priority to read this one very, very soon. Next to my big Hagrid Funko Pop, I have this big copy of Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban. This is the illustrated edition. Let's do a little flip through. my Queenie Funko Pop, Remus Lupin, Dolores Umbridge, Snape, and Voldemort. I always put Dolores Umbridge next to the pink books. I have To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I absolutely love these books. If you're looking for a really cute, cozy YA book, I would really recommend. Also, fun fact, Lara Jean is a Hufflepuff. A Muggle's Guide to the Wizarding World. I remember when I bought this book, I was just becoming a Harry Potter fan, and this is an unofficial guide to Harry Potter. It was before all of the Harry Potter books were out yet, and it just has some fun facts about the Harry Potter universe. Here's a little Newt Scamander Fantastic Beast scrapbook. I actually got this in one of my loot crate boxes. So it has some fun little facts about the movies and it just has some little, whoop, some little paper props. It tells you about the fantastic items, the wands, and there's just little fun things in there. On my last shelf, I have a Dementor, Bellatrix Lestrange, Lucius Malfoy, and Draco Malfoy. I have another unofficial guide to Harry Potter. This is The Sorcerer's Companion. I have The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexandra Bracken. This is actually a middle grade read, but it was so good, and it was perfect for October. That's when I read it last year, and I definitely recommend for an autumnal read. Last but not least, I have this sign, and this was made by my mom for Harold and I's wedding. I just thought it made a really cute little prop for my bookshelves. And next to my shelves, I have this little stool, and on top of the stool, I placed this little fuzzy white rug from Ikea, and then I have this little book bag. It says, my weekend is all booked, and that is from Barnes & Noble. Then I have this little pale pink pillow from Target. Eventually, I would like to get a better reading chair for this corner but I think right now that looks pretty good um, so yeah that is my overall tour of my bookshelves I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books and I will see you again soon thanks for watching bye